Hi everybody, welcome back to the Daisy Editor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how, how you can download and uh, manipulate um, this custom Daisy Editor file that I've created. So this is a, a .dze file that's going to be in the GitHub. This isn't a ready-to-go JSON file. You're going to have to place this tent um, where you want it to go. So what this tent is, it's a Pioneer Core resource tent. So the idea is that maybe at some time uh, during the uh, outbreak on Chernarus, the uh, maybe the Chernarusian army or the Russian army or NATO, you know, were putting down around these tents at various places around the uh, around the uh, area in order to give uh, their troops or their civilians. Uh, the resources they need to make bases so we've got like nails hammers saws uh, the kits you would need there's flags there's some basic food stuff there's a pioneer rifle scout rifle a little bit of medicine some clothes and importantly around the outside we've got lumber piles uh, we've got uh, wooden logs we've got barrels we've got sheet metal we've got tents we've got generators we've got fuel we've got camo nets we've got wire We've got rope, we've got locks. So I'm planning on using these on my server to drop them in where someone wants to make a base. So on my Discord, I'll say, okay, so uh, if you want to make a base, let me know the coordinates, uh, where some flat ground is, and I'll spawn you in one of these tents so they can easily crack on with base building. Because my servers are, are PVE servers and base building and that sort of thing is a really strong part of it. Now, remember, this will work on... Um, console as well you'll have to manipulate the files on a PC um, but as you can see we are uh, at the moment we are in Daisy editor so so how do you do this well what you want to do is you want to go to my github repository and I'll put a link in the description below this video and really the, the file you're really interested in is the pioneer core a resource tent.dze file that that's the cook uh, file you're interested now there is a readme file that tells you how to do things um, and there's some pictures as well now this is really aimed at people who are familiar with daisy editor and kind of know how to manipulate things but i'm going to run through some stuff with you so what you want to do is you want to click on the green button and download the zip to your computer and then in your downloads folder extract that zip and inside that, you'll see the Pioneer Corps resource tent.dze. So you right click, uh, copy that, and then you'll want to go to the um, editor file on your computer. Now, generally, where the Daisy Editor mod keeps all its uh, files is in your documents folder on your PC. And then you just go into Daisy Editor, and all the saves are there. And then you would right click and you would paste that in there. And then the, there it is, Pioneer Core Resource Tent.dze. Now, keep the one that's in your downloads folder, or you can put it somewhere else as a backup, because it's very easy to make a mistake when you're doing this sort of thing. Um, so once you've downloaded that to that location, what you can do is you can do File, Open, and then you can open the particular file. Now, I would also recommend don't have ground mode on or anything like that on when you're doing it. And what will then that will then do is it will spawn in this tent at the northeast airfield. So let me show you. So we are. That's where we are. You see where all the items are? Now there are quite a lot of items. So this may well cause you a little bit of lag. And I'm not sure how on. Especially uh, when, when you use this on a, on a console to spawn it in. It might cause a bit of lag when people are nearby. Because so there's a lot of things. So what will have happened is you're. One of your players will have said, can I have a tent in this location? So all we've got here is, this is just in the Daisy editor. We haven't got we haven't got the JSON file yet. So in order to move it, all you want to do is you want to select everything. And you'll just want to write, uh, just want to go edit, edit, cut. Now again, there's lots of, lots of items here, so it can take them a while to work. Press M, go into the map. Navigate to where your player wants or where you want to put the um, the tent, Let's say over here. Now remember, you, you, you middle mouse click, don't you, to um, and then to, to to move your mark and press M to go back into it. And just just stress to the players who are giving you these coordinates that this must be as flat land as they can find, because it's very tricky to manipulate um, buildings in the Daisy Editor in terms of 
their roll and their pitch. We can make things go up and down fairly easily together, and we can spin them around and move them around, but to actually roll them, it gets very complicated. Now what you want to do is just, just um, click, uh, left click in the middle of the where you want to drop the, the tent, and then just do Control V, and that will then spawn it in. Again, there's lots of items, so it can take it a while to do this. There it goes. Now, what you'll find is that uh, <laughs> there aren't that the, there aren't that many truly flat places on the map. So if you click somewhere, left click somewhere, and then press T to teleport your teleport your character, then press home, you can then start having a look round and see if like if if stuff's obviously floating in midair. Um, now this see this all looks pretty good. So this is pretty flat ground. But what you might find you have to do is you might have to move things up and down a bit. And that's fairly simple. You know, just select everything and then press and hold the left button, then press and you can press and hold alt um, to move things up and down. Just bear in mind that this is very, this can be very laggy. Now what I tend to look for is if you look through the door of the tent where the floorboards are, I just look for when they slowly disappear and then I adjust it back so that they're just there okay now what you can do is when you're in this screen as well if you press if you left click select everything left click and then press shift you can turn things around but again it can be very very laggy doing this it can be tricky so if you can you if you can just stick with what what it comes in as then that's fine I haven't found a way of manipulating as I say roll pitch and your everything together and do note that if you go in and you double click a particular item when everything's selected and then try and manipulate everything it doesn't quite work right so what you can then do is you can go with home and then you can go in and have a look um, now remember there are lots and lots of objects here so again just be careful but you can you know you can go in and you can in you know if, if you've got the time you can individually adjust the heights and move things around um, so when, once you're kind of happy with where with where the tent is to create your JSON file that you're going to use um, to upload to your custom server all you do is just go file um, export export to object spawner which is star.json and just export that and that will then create your JSON file in the daisy editor document uh, folder that you can then upload to your server um, go into the CFG gameplay.json, um, add the name of the file that you give to it um, in into the object spawner array. You you should be familiar with how to do that already, um, and then you'll have your your tent um, ready for uh, people to use. So hopefully you find this useful. Um, I know lots of people on my server like, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> when can I have one? Um, and uh, and the idea what what I'm kind of saying to people is, look, I'll spawn one of these in for you. And then please, you know, when when you're finished, please tell me and I'll, I'll despawn it. Because what happens with these things is they will refresh on every server restart. So if you use all these stones, when the server restarts, they'll reappear again. Um, I, I'm, I don't know completely how having these objects in the world affects the normal central loot economy. Now these don't spawn in and spawn out like other items, but undoubtedly they will be counted I think so let's say with the pioneer scout rifle there the, the that rifle there in the types of XML when the game looks at um, how many are in the map it probably will count these as well so if you spawn in quite a few of these tents for people it could be things like um, what would be fairly rare around um, I don't know, even nail boxes you know if you had 20 of these tents around the map that that would take quite a chunk of the nail boxes out of the normal loot economy especially tents um, um which could lead to problems with people finding them in norm, normal areas so again so the idea is spawn it in people make their bases um and then spawn it out when they're finished um because it is a bit op all the resources you get in this tent so there we go hope you found that useful um if you've liked the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon